Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be learning a little choreography to The Blue Danube by Strauss. Now this is not a ballet piece, but I felt like the music went really well with ballet movements. And I also feel like a waltz always lends itself to this kind of longer skirt, but feel free to wear anything you want. Also, you'll see that I'm doing a voiceover for this video, as I know some people have said that the audio quality was a little bit more difficult in my other videos, so let me know if you prefer this kind of format. So let's just get straight into the video. So we're going to start with the pas de valse on the diagonal. So we're going to go devant, back foot comes to coup de pied, you replace the foot, and then this time we're going to step diagonally back. This time it comes to coup de pied derrière, and again replace the foot. And now we're going to do two to the side, one, two, three, and to the other side. This is sometimes called a balancé. Let me know what they call it in your school. Is it a pas de valse or a balancé? Let's do it a little faster. Remember it's in a three, so one, two, three, and one, two, arm comes down, arm goes to third, and change the third. So from there, we're going to pique into a soutenu turn, arms come to fifth, plie in fifth position, arms come to second, then we're going to do a long glissade starting with the back foot, pick up that front foot, do a petit développé and arms come to third. From there we're going to do another pas de valse to the side and then we're going to repeat what we've just done. So pique soutenu, arms come to fifth, this is just repeated on the other side. Again plie, arms come to second and now a nice long glissade, this is not a petit allegro, it's long, it's not high. And then again petit développé devant. That last section a little faster, so one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and now we're going to do that whole section with music. So from here we're going to prepare and then we're going to do two diagonals of pas de valse en tournant. So that is the same step that we've just done but now we're going to be turning it. Now there are many ways to do this step. You can do it with a cloche, you can do it with a petit développé. I'm going to show you both versions. So the version I'm going to do is brush through first on the diagonal, two, three, and then we're going to do a small coup de pied derrière, two, three, and then prepare the other side. So brush through first, one, two, three, now put your devil pay, two, three. So you can see that each part of us is a half turn. There are also lots of arm variations for this step, so just do whatever feels most natural for you. Let's try that with music. So from here we're going to do step step into a pique attitude, lower step step, pique attitude, other side, plie, chasse or two steps and then an assemblé. So again, step step, pique attitude, lower step step, pique attitude, we're going to do two steps to face towards the back and then that assemblé brings us back round to the front. So from here, hopefully you'll have a bigger room than I do, but I just took a few steps forward to do this bore carou going backwards and then round, and we're going to repeat on the other side. So bore backwards, arms come through first to demi bra, lift that top arm to fourth as we come round, and then retire and prepare for the next section. So from here I'm going to do three controlled en dedans pirouettes. Now if en dehors are better for you, then feel free to do en dehors. Sometimes en dedans feel more safe for me, so I put en dedans in this one. But I'm changing the sides each time, and then for the last one I'm actually going to do it with a fouette instead of direct. And remember, because this is a waltz and this is a very soft section of the music, we're doing it slow and controlled. This is not about a million turns, although if you want to, then go for it. <laughs> So we're preparing tendu de vent crossé, arms are in third, and then we're coming straight up to the retire, and then again on the other side, arms come to first, and then this time a big one, arms to fourth, 
fuerte and up, arms to fifth, and then we prepare for the final diagonal. For the final diagonal you actually have time to run to either side so whether you turn a better to the right or to the left you could go to whichever corner you like because there is time to get to the corner that you want to. We're going to do two pique soutenues and then we're going to finish with chenets and I've just left the arms in first for this whole final diagonal. So again we're doing pique soutenue, remember to close that fifth before you turn, I have a soutenue tutorial, I'll link it in the description. So we're doing two soutenues and then our chenets. To finish we're going to chasse with that back foot, arms come all the way round. So again, arms through first arabesque to fourth arabesque. Now make sure you don't drop that hip, keep that hip nice and lifted and we'd like to see that diagonal line from both arms so don't hide the back arm. Let's try that final diagonal with music. So I'm going to do the whole choreography now. I filmed it once from the front and once from the back. Um, I've got my skirt on now so you can see how the movement kind of flows with this kind of outfit. And I'm going to try and put some expression into it because remember, you really don't need to have perfect technique to be able to enjoy dancing ballet. And I want people to kind of get out of the habit of feeling like they have to be perfect before they can really, really perform. So you'll see I'm far from perfect, but I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching this video guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it. As you've seen I've been doing it on flat ballet shoes but you can definitely also try this on point if you're more of an intermediate advanced level. If you do decide to learn this choreography and you do film it, please, please, please tag me on Instagram at Natalie Dancer Ballet because I love, love, love seeing you guys um, performing my ballet variations or even just learning it. Then I can share it on my Instagram stories because I feel like it's really encouraging for adult ballet dancers to see other people dancing, things that aren't just exercises in class. 
So again, thank you so much for watching this video guys. I will have linked to my other variations in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!